The flames of the fire kill the army men. A furnace burning at low temperature makes the victim suffer more as it takes longer to die. But when the furnace is heated seven times more, the temperature is extremely hot and the victim dies instantaneously. To prove that the army men were instantaneously killed by the flame soon as the door to the furnace was opened. This is similar to Revelation 11.5. If anyone wants to harm them, fire flows out of their mouths to devour their enemies. The first stage of miraculous deliverance Army men who carried Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to cast them into the furnace were killed. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were seen falling into the fire still tied up. There is an interesting record, the original King James Bible called the Prayer of Azariah. It records the prayer and song of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they were in the fiery furnace. The Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men in the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Nebuchadnezzar was astounded, astonished, and stood up suddenly. I see four men loose walking around. The Aramic for see is Chaza, to gaze upon. His spiritual eyes were open. He saw four men. Everyone else was three. Just like Ezekiel by the river of Shabbat, he saw a vision of the Lord. Paul riding on the horse to persecute the church, he saw a vision of the Lord Jesus. The principle here is that when God wants to communicate something to you, then the rest of them will not be able to see. He saw clearly that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were unbounded, unburned, and talking with the fourth person. Most, the most important factor is that King Nebuchadnezzar saw the fourth person, and he say that he is like the son of the gods. Son of God means a divine being. Without knowing, he uttered the divine utterance that he saw the Son of God. It was the Spirit of God who put the word in Nebuchadnezzar's mouth to utter the identity of the fourth person. As he looked without realizing, he testified the fourth person to be the Son of God. When Saul consulted the witch who was accustomed to seeing false spirits, she shouted in astonishment when God allowed Samuel's spirit to visit her instead of spirit, 1 Samuel 28, 17, 12. That day when Saul came to see her, she asked, who shall I call? Suddenly she started to scream because the Lord overruled all her witchcraft and allowed the spirit of Samuel to come and give a word of prophecy for the last time. God overruled. On October 27, 1983, we saw a vision. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was thrown in the fiery furnace. They fell down and got up and surprised they were not burnt. Then they got up and then the Lord Jesus appeared, beautiful white robe and said, be of good cheer, I am with you. Whenever you are tempted to think, where is the Lord? Remember, I am with you. The Lord spoke those same words in Matthew 28, 18 to 20. All authority is given unto me. And he was teaching them to observe all things. And lo, I am with you always. Nebuchadnezzar witnessed a supernatural being saved in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Still in shock, he remembered his own words. Who is the God who will deliver you out of my hand? He realized this is the God of whom Daniel had spoken to him, the Almighty God, the God of Israel. Just like how he was with the Israelites in the wilderness, he will be with us. Only one thing, do not repeat the same mistakes the Israelites did. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and 
come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors both being gathered together, saw these men upon whose body the fire had no power, nor was an ear of their heads singed. Neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire passed on them. The Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants that trust in him, and have changed the king's word, and yielded their bodies, that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. So Nebuchadnezzar called them servants of the Most High God, because he remembered them saying they will not serve Babylonian God. Who you serve, you become servant of. He called them servants of the Most High God. He also remembered them saying, Our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fire, a furnace, and he will deliver us out of your hands, O king. The word serve reminds him because they serve God, not because they serve him. Observe how he called them the servants of the Most High God rather than the servants of the Babylonian God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out from the midst of the fire. They were immediately inspected by four classes of government officials. They examined them from head to toe. They were shocked to discover four things. The fire had no power to kill Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Their hair were not singed, burnt, or color changed. Their clothes were not scorched or changed. Neither was the smell of fire found in them. The whole world is almost smoke-free. Suppose in the last days, other smoke, the smoke come upon you. They were indeed miraculously delivered, not from the fire, but in the first. In the last days, such will be the weakness of the remnant before their persecutors in the last days. God will miraculously protect you from your persecutors and you will testify. Similarly, there are four classes of evil spirits in Ephesians 6, 12, who fell to the earth with Satan and will be astonished at not being able to harm the woman and the remnant. Just like there are four classes of official, there are four classes of evil spirits. For four wicked spirits, the Lord had assigned four groups of angelic beings, angelic order, saint order, a ring of fire. It is very important for the remnant and the woman to always walk in the ways of God. We want to avoid the mistakes of the Israelites. If we make the same mistakes, we will never enter into the kingdom of heaven. We don't want to commit immorality and God have to punish us. Nebuchadnezzar humbled himself before God and acknowledged his almightiness. Blessed be the God, he ascribes honor and praise to God, who has sent his angel, indeed angel united, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, for the Lord stretched forth his hands like eagles wing to shield them from the fire, who trust in him. Nebuchadnezzar acknowledges Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who put their complete faith and trust in God to protect them. Isaiah 43, 2. Your faith cannot be 99%. That 0.1% will fail you. Our faith must be complete. Based upon Isaiah 43, 2, early Christian history says John was cast in a boiling oil but came out on scat. Only God can protect us. Set aside the king's command. Nebuchadnezzar was overwhelmed by the fact that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego loved God and were absolutely loyal to him. So much they were willing to surrender their bodies rather than worship any other God. This underscore was written in the book of Revelation. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony. They loved not their lives, even unto death. 
Tell the last day remnant, I am able to protect them. This is the word of the Lord that came August 27, 2020. Tell the last day remnant, I am able to protect them from the fires as I protected my servants who trust me with all their heart. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language will speak anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sword. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. So he said, I make a decree. This means Nebuchadnezzar did not get converted. He just added Yahweh to his large pantheon of David. The purpose of his edict was to prevent people from criticizing the God of the Hebrews. Does that mean he got converted? We recall, the man of God recalled in 1984 walking and stopped at a small cafe. He looked and saw pictures of the Hindu God. Among the many gods, there was a picture of the Lord Jesus. When he looked up and heard the voice of the Lord tell him, they put me among the, all the other gods. Tell the owner to remove my picture. Later, he understood why. He gave a witness to the owner that he is not one among many other gods. He is the Lord God. Go and tell him. He hesitated. The Lord asked him, if your picture was among prostitutes, would you like that? He said, Lord, I would not. He said, go and tell him. So at the end of the food, he went up to the owner. The owner asked him what was wrong. He told him to remove the picture of the Lord Jesus. If he will not do that, the Lord will curse his shop and it will be closed forever. Thirty years later, one of the young men who bought him there told him that the restaurants have been closed for all these 30 years. The principle was that the Lord Jesus is not one among many gods. He was the one and only true and living God. Nebuchadnezzar promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but it was God who moved the heart of Nebuchadnezzar to promote them from being for being loyal. In Revelation 2.10, do not fear what you are about to suffer. Be faithful unto death. And I will give you a crown of life. In conclusion, consider this verse again. Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold whose height was three scores cubits, and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. The Hebraic numerical value of the verse is 4662. This is the sum of 7 times 666, which is 4,662. What he did here is the same thing that will take place during the seven-year period. Why is this thing done by Nebuchadnezzar among many things that he did during his 43-year reign highlighted by Daniel? The incident is a forerunner of what the false prophet will do in the end time, Revelation 13, 14, and 15. He will set up a image that will speak thanks to artificial intelligence, which is a great advancement in today's time. Comparatively, both incidents of Daniel 3 and Daniel and Revelation 13 took place in Babylon. In the last days, there will be another image governed by the code 666. That is a very old Pentecostal teaching, throw it away. It is a number of men created by men. Through this incident, the last day's remnant can learn how they too can be resolute in their faith. During the Antichrist Great Tribulation, the whole world will become like a fiery furnace. Psalm 97 verse 3, Ezekiel 20 verse 47, 
Zephaniah 1.18 and Malachi 4.1. In the sense of tribulation, persecution, if you cannot stand a little persecution, backbiting here and there, how will we go through? Remember, there will be two parts, the lesser tribulation and the greater tribulation. We will be trained by our tribulation. We must develop strength under control. Those days will be days, the days of Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. God will protect the faithful remnant as how he protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Their clothes were left intact. Their hair was not burnt. Not even the smell of fire was upon them. Hallelujah. God will protect the faithful remnant as he protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. However, we must learn a cardinal principle of heaven from them. We must remain resolute in our faith. Amen.